Greetings fellow Caravaneers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld The First Wendigo, Episode 167, The Silver Road. You think cats can be scanned again? Uh, yeah, quite possibly. Yes. Let's have, uh... I'll have Wendy do the ovum extraction and then stick her in the, the scanner. Good, good call on that. That's an important scan, because we're, we're trying to get as much of the vampire genome mapped as possible. Or I guess Lowe's doing it. Sorry, Mitty. Ooh, Wendy failed catastrophically. Don't worry, she'll she'll use her uh, vampy powers to patch you back up. You're fine. But uh, you, I don't care if it hurt. You're still losing your eggs. Wow, you uh, uh, your catastrophic failure, Wendy. You cracked both legs. You cracked the sternum, the rib cage, the torso. Almost, you were about two thirds of the way to ripping out the rib cage, and uh, and three twentieths. Uh, yeah, you were seventeen twentieths of the way to tearing out the entire torso. So that was a uh, that was an organ extraction, next level failure, like you would not believe. So this is the last chance to try to find arc parts. We have got one in the northeast. And that's it. No other 80s here. All right, a clean four for four. Uh, we do have a bit of a tie, but I can do both breeding program and trade. Got it. Exit point is central middle. So, Bry, what is your low temperature tolerance? So, if I have Bry's it go on trade caravans, I'm probably going to want Bry's it in a parka, ditching the Altex robe. In fact, maybe ditching. All the Altex stuff, as being a super, super Altex caster right now, is less important. So I'll just use the... I'll just use, like, standard gear for now. For Bryzit. Ooh, I can... You're a little... Naked, friend. So I'm gonna want, um, to... To crank out a parka. And we'll do a bear skin. No, heavy fur parka. That should be plenty good. He's saying you start that. So I don't know how much walking he's physically going to do. But um, I figure it might not be one of those situations where he's like immediately going to only trade with the colony that he arrives at. What is going on with my power though? Oh, a long-term eclipse. That's what's going on. Wasn't there a second one just southeast of the one that I found? I don't think so. This is not an ancient danger. Any da pre-damaged walls indicate that it is not an AD. Ancient dangers, despite the fact that they've been ruins, sitting around on the map tile for an unbelievable period of time... Um, are always in pristine condition when you find them. Does it make sense? No, hell no. But, you know, is it the way it is? Yes. Makes it very easy to predict. 
So there's just two pikemen, healing factors, and two soothers with a whole bunch of caskets. Oh, there's also Art Trainer, which would be good for Brazit, Glitter Old Meds, and the Hermetic Rate. Luciferium. All right, the last thing I'm going to do is to pop, pop a meal, I guess. Didn't realize how hungry they were. Pop a meal and then uh, open up the casket to see if I get a high mate. But the prediction is already uh, a fail as one might guess. Although, the majority of you said yes. I think the chance of me finding ar architect parts is um, way lower than the... Oh, no, no, no. That's not what I meant to do. Way lower than the percent of you that, that thought that it would be possible. But you were hopeful, you were wishful, and I appreciate it. So, who do we have? I don't see any high mates because they kind of glow a strange color. But I also don't see any hussars. Gonna bounce. So as soon as Bryzik gets the parka, which will keep him from becoming hypothermic while trying to trade, I'll go around trading. So the best place to trade is maybe this cluster here, this tri-cluster of um, Imperial cities. I'd imagine. Because I could probably walk from one to the other. Why do I hear brawling noises? Uh, I don't know. I don't put that on. Actually... Uh, yeah, put on a Locust Armor. I think probably Locust Armor is going to make him warm enough, and it's obviously better protection than a Parka would be. Parka will protect you from 72 Celsius of cold, but um, you're at negative 60 Celsius. Yeah, there's no way it's going to get that cold. So you'll be fine. Although, you know, uh, I'm going to flip-flop on that. The Locust Armor is a lot heavier than the, the Parka. So, I'm going to go with Parka anyway. Uh, so, this caravan here, uh, Wendy is going to pick up. Because Bryzit will do the trading. It's very rare that Wendy goes as a taxi driver, but uh, here she goes. So, the reason why it's I care about the... Um, about the carry weight is for him to caravan from city to city, he needs to weigh as little as possible. Uh, so that my, you know, the what I want to buy, I can afford to move. Good place for the, the drugs there. Rise it. Looks like you are ready, friend. I'm going to let you have a little bit of recreation and sleep, and then we're going to send you out. So current priority is 
trade runs and breeding program. So for the breeding program, I did want to combine Shell Bell's genetics with Neanderthal, and I don't see any Neanderthal eggs freed up. Uh, there should be some colonist eggs, though, so let's do that. Shell Bell mixed with... Midi. Does that make sense? Yes, because Midi's part Neanderthal. And then Shell Bell mixed with Frosty would also make sense. One, two, three, four, minus one, not keep. Try again. Shabal Dave, does that make sense? I don't think so. Dark vision, no, it does not. Shabal cross. Krieg, does that make sense? No, no. So Dave and Krieg are like dirt mole crosses and yeah, they don't need to be crossed with Shell Bell. Oh, was this one? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six. No negatives. Dang, I like that egg. Put it low, put that egg down. I need to make space for that egg somewhere in here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, negative. I'm keeping that. One, two, three, four, five, six with a negative. Keep that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven with two negatives. I'll keep it. That bottom row is pretty safe. One, two, three, four, five, keep. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, okay. This is uh, Tefluti Lillen, sorry. Your old news. Uh, what is this? Normal, and this is critical? Why can't I haul there? Someone's trying to haul there. I'm going to forbid the door for a minute. Have their priorities cleared. Alright, so Shell Bell. Uh, there are no Neanderthals. There's no... There is one hybrid. It's not a good hybrid, it's just Val, but I'll try it anyway. Okay, there we go. Finally hauling that in. One, two, three, boring. So if that's done, let's start crossing Shell Bells with Edekin. A Shell Bell has no percentage of the Edekin. And see if we can get an Edekin Shell Bell mix. Extracted Pyrophobia. Um, that is useful, but only implanting it in pyromaniacs to suppress pyromania so it's not one that i'm excited about but it can cancel out pyromaniacs in the colony which isn't 
terrible. Uh, back to this egg. We've got, here, let me open up the overlay. We've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. But with slow wound healing. All right, let's call that a no. One, two, three, four, five. No fur skin. And also one negative. Two more chances. One, two, three, four. With a negative. And one, two, three, four, five, six. With a negative. Kawakirk Shell Bell's close. Ah, slow wound healing. Um, okay, Kawakirk Kirk Shell Bell, I might keep, but I have to find. I, I think we are slowly overrepresenting Shell Bell's genes in this pool, which is uh, worrisome. So I might look for the weakest Shell Bell gene in here. Like this one, one, two, three, four, five. No, that's six and clean. Three, four, five. Hmm. Actually, there's not too many shovels in there. This is only a four though. So let's get rid of that. Looks like there's two more Edekin eggs. I will try Edekin dirt mole crosses. Just because the sperm's right there, might as well. And this is the one. Where's the one I wanted to keep? Cowkirk Shell Okay, so that did get placed in there. Good. Hey, how many people had uh, have to rebuff Cactus here? Okay, not too many. I just saw that uh, Midi was upset rebuffing Cactus. I was wondering if I had to take a tongue. Not yet, but maybe soon. Can I get a dock up in here to do some aching? What's going on? Where's my doctors? Wanting to be on the throne makes sense. In fact, she needs to start death resting pretty soon as well. Uh, Bryzen, your needs... So as soon as Bryzen's up, I'll send him on the trade run. Because his needs are pretty well met now. I think all my doctors are asleep, which is why uh, there's no, not been any fertilization. Yeah, egging. Exactly. It's it's what I'm doing. I'm egging. Ooh, we got a Yakish raid. A prepare a while. Prepare wilds are dumb uh, because they're very, very easy to kill. So, Mass, you're a perfect place. Let's just summon in a Diabolus threat. I'll close the overlay. Can I get a dock up in here? Thank you for the Diabolus threat. Uh, then let's keep everybody behind the walls. Oh, you are in the wrong group. Wait. Yeah, yeah, you're in the wrong group entirely. And you have been for a long time. 
Oops. Still waiting on those doctors to, you know, show up and do their work. I like how the teetotaler who requires Yeo to survive will be somehow unhappy that I administered life-saving medication as far as the, uh, as far as they're concerned. Yep. Just waster logic. Another thing I realized I hadn't done, because we haven't had any warmer than freezing cold temperatures since I tiled everything up, is to remove some some uh, snow so that we're not walking on um, snow-impacted concrete. So who do we got here? We have um, two Doomsday, two Triples, and a whole bunch of other variety of uh, dangerous weapons. They're not breachers, so that's something that counts. And lucky me, they just happen to land right where I want them. Hey, Yakish. Turn around. So at the moment, I don't need any Yakish, but I should check to see their ages. 37, 19, 24, 40, 49. So having one Yakish captured would be nice for that 49 year old. Because that 49 year old's gonna be menopausal soon. There is a contingency of them that uh, didn't seem to get the memo that they're supposed to attack the mechs. So I'll have Mendy, Mendy. I'll have Wendy go uh, remind them that they have a, uh, Somewhere to be, places to be, things to do. Really, I just want to go over there and isolate the one with the triple launcher so that triple launcher doesn't get used against my base or anything. Uh, there are three Diabolists here. Don't really have a dog in the fight. No pun intended with the uh, eat again, but don't really have a dog in the fight. But who wins? Don't care. I think probably the best way to isolate Shen is to berserk Shen, jump out of there, and just have them beat Shen up. In terms of the other Doomsday or triples, they all have been used. Good. My brawlers, would you happen to rendezvous down here and greet some of the Yakish? Thank you. It's biocoded, which is unfortunate, but it's uh, one less weapon that the enemies have. Most of the weapons they have here, except for that sniper rifle, are like close quarter weapons. So a little snipage is fine. Oh. Uh, don't shoot yet. Brawlers look ready. One Diabolus down. I don't see a chip. Oh, no, here's the signal chip. So I'll put a little plus plan marker where the signal chip is. If it survives the fight. I called them in not because I wanted the signal chips, but because I was lazy and didn't want to have to fight the Edekin myself. Don't shoot at me, Ida. Just come out, and uh, I'll make your death probably still painful. Because I'm petty like that. Alright, there goes another one. Uh, two stacked up on top of one another. Look at that. Real convenient to haul them. Hey, Anonymous. Thank you for uh, gifting out a sub. 
I like how Ida is having like a shootout with me. <laughs> Good luck with that. Legendary charge rifle versus someone with a sniper rifle. It's not gonna go very well for you. One diabolist left. As far as I can tell, there's not a lot of fires around here. It is um, gentle snow, so the fires are gonna be going out. So it should be three single chips that I get as a result of that, I hope. And then uh, Wendy is just annihilating the Edekin. All right, there's the third. She's already killed five people, so she's happy. I'm going to have her take a snack break, and she'll lead the Vanguard of Brawlers to clean up some of the more Edekin. I don't know how many there were when they first landed, so I don't know what their threshold of fleeing is, but... Probably getting pretty close. Uh, Bryzit, let's have you take some meals. Because I'm not going to not do my trades. Some silver. Let's do 5,000. So, no, caravan max is too high. 3,000? Still can't hold that. 2,500. 2,800? Okay, 2,800 silver. Maybe 900. Yeah, 2,900 in silver. And that's why I wanted him in the parka, so he wouldn't weigh very much. Because uh, I'm probably going to be shopping around for uh, Archite jeans more than anything else, because they're and, and Archite capsules because they're rare and precious. So I, I, you know, I wanted him to carry as much silver as possible to be able to do the transactions. Okay, they're fleeing. Uh, that just leaves a few max. Uh, I did want one female. So you, bodyguard, as long as you have your organs, you do. Congrats. I might not even try to use a shock lance. I'm sure there's other females around here. Uh, actually, oddly, no. Not a lot of, like, of-age females. There's this one, but they're about to exit map tile. So yeah, okay. This is shock lance worthy. You! Yoink! And then the rest of you are just going to get shot at. Krieg, you seem to be the slowest here, so you go capture Wind Banish. Wendy wants you guys to tear apart Hone. She likes to watch sometimes. See, I already have kill five, but I want to witness five as well. So, Kat Kat Kit Kit Kat. That's the closest I'm going to get to pronouncing that name. Uh, you are going to get torn up by my brawlers. Three mechs, three brawlers, and Wendy. I feel really bad for the mechs right now. They're outclassed by a considerable margin. Nope, oh, one down. Two down. Rise it, you good to go? Oh, I see. So we're going to have to do a little walking. That's okay. Up oh, three down. They're all dead. That was, uh, that was quick. Frosty, you're fine. And then, uh, the restricted zones are going to be lifted. Primarily so that I can haul back the single chips because they're kind of important. So fi up and you can haul three of them. I think, right? Yep. Okay. Five got all three. Perfect. That means, Mini, uh, sorry, you are not leaving yet. I would like to watch you murder people. Thank you. Now do it again. Thank you. And do it one more time. Oh, 
Oh, look at all this go juice. Here, you can haul the go juice home. I'll drink a beer. Well, that's about uh, about as happy as you can get. Thirty-seven twenty-four. Don't need a lot of other boosts with that going on. Three single chips. I'll be turning those into Lowe's gestation processors. So that would be nice. And then the mix. You are lifted. So you can go haul and whatever else you want to do. Cool. Uh, the Edekin eggs are missing, so I'm assuming they got, uh, fertilized and they're just up here somewhere, which is annoying. Here's one of them. One, two, three, four. That's a pigskin. That's an Edekin. Uh, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five. With no negatives? I like this one. Uh, if... I could replace it with Polog Brizit, which is a four no negatives. So that was Lenka Slavial or whatever. I'm not trying to pronounce that. Yeah, this was the uh The other ones, no no, yeah, okay. Fired surgery. Oh, sorry, brawlers. I forgot about you. Oops. Oh, that sucks. I uh, I didn't fully capture them. I don't actually know why Krieg didn't. Which is so strange. But then as soon as uh, I put them down, uh, they kind of died. Oh, well. Food. Could be worse. We still have 7 out of 7 eat again. I just was hoping to retire the old one. And by retire, I mean organ murder and profit. But nope. Not today. Surprise will be there in about one day. Not bad. Mm, I don't think there's anything that will allow Krieg to be happy for a bit. Is Corpse Exchange Ritual uh, worth trying? It's per it's on a 12-day cooldown, so, so no, not really. The cooldowns in RimWorld... Um, cause the chance of success to be like critically bad if it's on a long cooldown. So Wendy is going to start her death rest, but I am going to top up on delicious pigskin blood before I do that. Tordek, you are an adult and you're staggeringly ugly. So now I have five adults in pods. Stevie's probably about to hit 13 as well. They were put in roughly at the same time. They're VAT twins. Lillen, you have Tattered Apparel. Uh, Tattered Took. And Frosty, you have Tattered Apparel. It's probably from that last fight. It's Tattered Locust Armor.
Him wants attention? Yeah, he can hear my uh, my kid, like, sort of making noises in the other room. It gets his attention. Yep, that was predictable. I was literally in the process of clicking on uh, Krieg to see when his, her rather, mood would turn. And like clockwork. And there is Stevie becoming an adult. I'll check the treat in just a second. Lucky, lucky for me, like traits don't matter all that much because I have a lot of genes now that can counteract a lot of unhappiness and a lot of the negative traits. Before, when I had like Jonah, who is the, you know, the shell puncher, uh, it was a lot more difficult. Oh, fast walker. That's actually really good. Nimble, super mean, fast walker. Man, you were designed for, for murder. Good for you. Nobody beats Squirrel? No, I think you mean Banish. Nobody beats Banish in traits. Banish's traits were uh, were so atrociously bad. It was unbelievable. Uh, a Lynx trying to hurt T-Sang. Kath and T-Sang just come back to the base. Yeah, Guero, as far as traits go, is Annoying Voice Gourmand Pessimist. Not great, but, you know, could be worse. But Banish, Permanent Chemical Fascination Gourmand. The the trifecta of uncontrollable moods. Yeah. Cannot, it's my three least favorite in the game. Now that there is pyro, uh, pyrophobia, pyromaniacs are counteractable. So it lessens the effect of uh, pyromaniacs because you can turn it off. But for the others, you know... It's still a pain. Actually, let's try to pierce the spine. The, uh... Yeah, you want to try to hunt a, a vampire? Here's why you don't do that. I do find it funny that um, vampire slaves won't rebel, even though they have, like, built-in murder devices into their spines or whatever. Whereas, like, if you give them a weapon, it's a big no-no. Oh, no, they're armed. But if they don't have a weapon, like, they're kind of a human weapon. Like a game. Shouldn't they rebel at a much higher rate? But nope, apparently not. Totally, totally fine. You know? Slave Rebellion, 5.2 years. You're not even you're not even behind a wall. There we go. 8.9 years. Once every nine years, you will try to rebel. They won't rebel because they know Wendy will rip their skulls out. That hasn't stopped, uh, that hasn't stopped T-Sang. T-Sang's tried to rebel maybe like three or four times already. He has attempted quite a lot. Like an oppressive amount. Why it's impressive is because most of the people that have rebelled in the past, um, did not survive even their first rebellion. So the fact that he survived, th like, four of them is pretty nuts. He misled others. Yeah, he wanted to be the only slave. <laughs> That's what it is, right? He just wanted to be the prima donna slave and uh, and and encouraged others to rebel so that he could be the the celebrity slave. We're, we're on to him now. Genies will do that to you? Yeah, I mean, they have awful social, so it's not like he was making friends. <laughs> All right, let me continue the breeding. So, I'm not really sure that I have a colonist that would be a good candidate to breed with wasters. I guess I can just have, like, Lilin come on over and fertilize all the waster eggs. Wasters and impids, because there's only one gene I want to take out of them. It's like, 
kind of not super important to fertilize their eggs uh, with high quality stuff unless that's not represented in the individual. So in the case of um, in the case of Shellbell, Shellbell doesn't have the super immunity though. So Shellbell, your sperm could fertilize the waster eggs, I guess, hoping for um, like a Shellbell waster hybrid. But let's check these three. So we've got a nothing. No, no, we got a two, a two but a gaunt head. This is a one, and this is a one two with a gaunt head. So nothing, nothing in that batch. As I suspected. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld, the first one to go, which originally streamed live on Twitch May 2nd. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Wendigo.